Hi guys and welcome to the fifth episode in the Share Factory tutorial. Uh, in this episode I'm going to show you how to add music to your video and right at the very end I'm going to go into some detail about how you can upload from a USB stick you can add any music to your videos. Uh, okay so if you go onto the, uh, the X button to add and you go right along to the right hand side there you can see to add music. Now there are quite a few um, built-in shipped uh, soundtracks that you can add. Have a listen to some of them uh, they're all right. There's a couple of good ones there, so um, have a listen. I imagine if everybody starts using these, though, they are all going to get a bit boring because we're all going to have the same music on our on our videos. So, as I said at the very end, there, I'll go into a bit of detail about um, in uploading and importing your own music uh, from uh, your USB, and I'll go into a bit of detail about actually uh, some implications of doing that with YouTube and 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 whatever. So, okay, so you just press X to select the song that you want and as you notice the very end there we've got a bit we've got a bit left over so there would be some space to fill so always bear that in mind but at the beginning of your video you normally have an intro or, or a title screen and you don't really want uh, the music to be playing over that because you've already got the sound effect from your from your um, your titles so what you can do is move, move just like you can move clips and audio comments you can move the music all the way over to the right just so that the beginning of it um, falls in nicely in line with the start of your video once the, the, the intro sound effects are finished. So we'll just play that through here so you can hear it. So uh, one of the things you want to do is obviously pick the right kind of music for uh, for your kind of video. So something fast paced for a shooter like this, or uh, you know, a nice waltz if you're doing something a bit more uh, a bit more quieter. Um, but one of the things, a uh, nice effect you can do if you want to put down the volume of the music and add yourself a little bit of commentary so that you're not uh, you know drowned out by the sound of your own background. What you can do is uh, this little technique here. So if you split uh, the music just like you would split a clip. Um, in a couple of places, right in a gap where you would want to talk through your video or add some commentary, um, split it into places like this. Now we're concentrating on that middle section which is where we're going to be speaking. So this technique you can use um, involves changing the volume a little bit in the middle part but also having a nice little fade effect. So right at this section, anywhere in that section, you can click the, uh, the square button to, to edit and what that will allow you to do, there's an option to fade out. Um, of that part of the music which is at your normal volume. Um, so over there on the right hand side you can see you've got the fade in and fade out so obviously uh, you want to put the right one in the right place so um, if you select here for the end of that clip you want to fade it out so we're going to say fade out for about three seconds that means it will start fading out three seconds before the end of that sound clip that you've got. Now we're going to go in this section here is the bit we're going to have a little bit quieter which I'll show you in a sec but this final section you want to fade back in, back up to the level of your normal music volume. So again, around about three seconds, just to ramp it up. Um, it sounds nicer when it's a little bit, uh, a little bit of time. If it's too quick, you can't notice it. So right in this section here, which is where we're going to be speaking, um, we want to edit the volume of the music in that section low enough that you can talk over it, but you can still kind of hear it. So uh, again, if you click the Tools button, the Square button, and you can edit the volume. Let's ram that right right down to say something like 10, 15, 20 percent. Um, you'll get used to the levels. You can replay them and edit them afterwards if you're not happy. Um, even after you've added your commentary, you can increase your commentary volume. Um, so that's showing you that before and after the, the music volume is at 80 percent. Remember all sound recording is at 80 percent which gives you that room to breathe if you want to turn it up or turn, up, um, or turn it down. Um, or turn up the you know the, the the volume of your clip to match the balancing can be quite tricky now you've got three elements to play with so right in that section if you back out and go to to add again you can edit commentary and this is the section where we'll be speaking um, obviously like I'm doing for you guys now but you don't want to overrun that section which you you fade back into your normal volume so there's your section you can see the blue for your clip the yellow for the commentary and the green bar there at the bottom uh, let's play that through. So the music's down at a much lower volume. You can hear me properly now, and in a second it will come back right back up again. 
Oh, I think it's quite a nice effect. It works quite well if you want to uh, have a mixture of things. So another another nice thing to do is if you skip right to the end here, um, just as your video is coming to an end, you don't want your music just to stop dead. So uh, what's really useful is if you go and add a, a trailing out, sort of fade out right at the end, a nice long one as well, so it sort of peters out quite, quite smoothly, um, fading to uh, silence basically. Again, it sounds nice, it just makes the video a bit more professional. And uh, I hope you like it too. Um, there's another thing I did say I would talk about. Um, it's the uh, adding music from your USB stick itself. So you've got a USB stick. Um, what you do is need to plug it into your computer and you copy an MP3 file onto it. And you can import that into the Share Factory application. There is a really, really important point here, though. When you create the folder on your USB stick, you must create the folder as it shows you at the bottom of that error message, which says it, that it will be imported from a folder called slash share factory slash music in that exact case. So you must make sure on the root of your USB stick that you create a folder first called share factory and then inside that another music folder. Then you can copy any of your MP3 files into that folder and you'll be able to import them into the game, uh, sorry, into this application, and then you can use them for the background of your music. Now, as I said, there are implications in doing this. Yeah, main, the main one is YouTube will not allow you to make money from somebody else's uh, music, basically, if it's a band or, or your favorite artist. There is nothing wrong with having the videos online, that's not illegal. It's as soon as you monetize your video, if you put adverts around the video through YouTube's site, that is where you might get in trouble and they have every right to take your video down and uh, they may well send you an email saying that you've infringed copyright law so watch out for that one guys but uh, have fun and I hope you enjoyed this video please subscribe if you liked it and uh, like or comment and I will be back hopefully with a last video just to show you a few little tips and tricks and maybe give you a little final version of the video we've been going through today alright thanks a lot guys bye